Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now when I first heard about AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution, I was quite excited about its potential, even if the selection of games it worked with at launch didn't appeal to me personally. With that said, the recent addition of FSR to Resident Evil Village meant that I could finally make use of the high settings with my otherwise struggling GTX 1050 Ti. That's right, FSR even works with NVIDIA hardware. In simple terms, enabling FSR reduces the game's render resolution and upscales it to your monitor's native res while improving performance. It's super helpful for lower-end graphics cards and you can select from a handful of presets including performance, balanced and quality, all of which will impact picture quality and frame rates differently. I'm not going to pretend that I completely understand how it works, but what I do know is that the balanced quality significantly improved my 1050 Ti's performance. It's given this popular choice a new lease of life. That got me thinking. When we last tested the Athlon 3000G with Resident Evil Village, I found that dropping the resolution to 720p and minimising the graphical quality meant a 30fps gameplay experience, at least in less intensive scenes. 1080p is too much for this chip as you can see, but with the newly added FSR mode, we can use the performance preset to make things a bit smoother. Now I'm not suggesting for a minute that you play at 1080p with an APU like this, but if we take this performance into consideration when thinking about the future of this technology, then it's clear that this could be a real game changer, literally for low end graphics hardware going forward, especially as the list of supported games is only going to get longer, and especially since this works with with both NVIDIA and AMD cards. That's all for this video, I know it's been a little bit shorter than usual, but after firing up Resident Evil Village and noticing this new FSR option, well you know me, I just had to give the 1050 Ti and Athlon 3000G a go, and I cannot wait to see what other games get this support. I think Far Cry 6 when it comes out is getting FSR support, so you can guarantee that we'll be testing that with the 3000G. But as for this one, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, leave a dislike if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.